Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my beauty trash. Um, basically, I'm going to show you what I used up during the month of July and give you a little mini review and if I would repurchase or not. So, let's get started. First, I have a product from Clinique. This is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion Number no. 3. And I have used this for years, years and years and years. Um, gosh, probably going on. 15 years at least and I use this as my toner um, every day morning and night love it will repurchase have repurchased it repurchased it won't be without it then from Dr. Teal's I have a couple of um, bath products this is the Epsom salt and the coconut oil and the um, the one that has milk and honey in it I love both of them they are both wonderful um, just when I think I have found my absolute favorite then I open up a new bag and fall in love I think probably as far as smell goes this one it's the milk and honey I think is my favorite but I love these um, I just wish they came in bigger bags because we go through these so fast we as my husband and I both because um, we both do baths and gosh we just go through those fast um, makeup remover wipe I've talked about these time and time again we'll repurchase those my favorite cotton rounds this is the Ulta Beauty brand and it's the exfoliating cotton rounds I definitely repurchase these I like my cotton rounds to have some texture on them to help with exfoliation of the skin then I have a shower product from Victoria's Secret. This is the pink pretty and pure two in wash and scrub. I wouldn't repurchase. I don't even know if they even still carry this or not. I've had this for a long time. Um, I'm trying to really get through the rest of my um, shower stuff that I have. And after that, then there's just one product that I'm going to stick with. But anyway. Oh, I finished up a bottle of vitamins this is the sugar bear hair hair vitamins and I did finish up another bottle of those come on now focus on there so they can see I don't know if you'll be able to because it's so just like white on white anyway the hair vitamins I do like those I like the way they taste they're a little gummy in the shape of a bear and I do like those then from I'm not really for sure what brand this is what brand is this anyway it's a Korean brand I did order this off of Peach and Lily back during um, Cyber Monday um, Black Friday the, that sell time it's the skin renewal program the AHA 8% peeling serum and um, I did enjoy this and I think I don't know if I would repurchase it or not I did like the delivery system though of this because when you tighten your lid down, okay, come on, let's get back in focus. There you go. When you tighten your lid down, this little knob pushes down, and then when you open it, it would open up, and then it would have your stopper or your your um, dropper, I mean, would be full of product. So, was able to get every last. I have another product from Clinique, a little deluxe sample size of the Youth Surge SPF 15. Um, in my younger years, this was a good moisturizer, but as I've gotten older and a little bit more wrinkly, um, just not a product that works as best for me now, but definitely, um, is a good skincare line to start out with. And I did finish one of my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Sprays, the Long Lasting. This is the original one. Um, I have several of these in backup, and I hope... <sighs> Gosh, I've heard that the new formulation is not as good as this one. So um, I still have been able to find, been finding it like at Nordstrom Rack and at Sephora online. So I might end up buying a couple more just so I have even some more backups of that. Then from Cover Effects is a primer. This is the Anti-Age Smoothing Eye Primer. This was a really big container for being an eye primer and to be honest with you when I first got this 
I thought it was a face primer and for a long time I used it as a face primer before I realized that it said eye primer and I cut it so I could get all of it out but um, yeah it was a nice face primer I didn't really care for it as far as an eye primer but I liked it for all over the face um, oh here we are a lip balm from Maybelline this is the Dr. Rescue baby lips I did finish that up I took a very 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 long time to get rid of that because I just use it of the morning but by golly it's done and we're good then I have from Sephora the rose sleeping pack and um, my suggestion to the to you on this is just to open it up just a little ways and get some of the product out because there's enough product in here to use it two maybe three times so don't open this thing all the way up don't take the whole thing off like that just open it part way so that you can preserve the um the product in here and you can use it like three nights in a row and i really do like that one a very good sleeping mask and it's inexpensive that little container is five dollars so if you do it like i say and just open it little ways you can get a lot of uses out of it oh gosh here's a product that i absolutely love this is from kate somerville Ex the exfoliate intensive exfoliating treatment i try to always get these when there's a travel pack or if they are a um hundred point perk or anything like that or if they're on sale from sephora or Wherever I can get a discount on these, I really, really do like this product and recommend it. I think I featured this in a favorites video not too long ago. Finished up a foundation from Tarte, and this is the um, Amazonian Color Clay Liquid Foundation in the color Fair. I really do like this, and I'm not that big of a Tarte fan. Um, I found that out after purchasing tons and tons of Tarte makeup, just discovering that it doesn't really work for me. But this did. I really did enjoy it and was going to repurchase it, and um, it's discontinued. I was able to find on QVC where they had a few left. They had two colors, which one of them being the color Fair. But I didn't order it because I thought, well... You know, if you can't get it after that, then there's no point. So, anyway, but it was a good foundation. And it seemed like every time I wore it in videos, I would always get compliments on my skin. Anyway, I have a roller ball of some perfume. This is the Kat Von D Saint perfume. Um, this is the original one that I've had for a very long time. I didn't really care for it because I'm just not a big fan of overly vanilla scented perfumes and this really had a strong scent of vanilla and um, I have smelt the new one and it doesn't smell anything like this which I know the diehard fans of this are very very sad but those of us that didn't really care for it are okay with it not smelling the same I know but now this guy this is my absolutely favorite this is probably what I would consider my um, signature scent and this is from Clinique and it's the Happy Perfume. I've worn this for going on 15 years and love it. Every time I wear it, I get compliments. Every time I go to do my laundry and I smell it on my clothes, I think, oh, that smells so good. I absolutely, positively love it and will repurchase. I have a full bottle of it right now that I'm working on. But when that goes, I will definitely purchase it. Oh, I have a beauty sponge. This is from The Real Techniques. This is my favorite beauty sponge. Um, I like these better than I do the uh, beauty blenders. So, and it looks really gross, doesn't it? Ugh, it's nasty. The only thing about those is they, they get kind of wore out pretty quick, but anyway. Oh, and this, this product I really liked. I talked about this in a favorites. This is, was from Vita Liberata, the 10 minute tan. I really do like this. I got this little deluxe sample at Sephora, not Sephora, Ulta, as a little freebie. And I really, really, really did like that. Very much so. Have a little razor that I, um, it's doled out. This is, um, ordered this off of Amazon. It's called Twinkle, Tinkle, Tinkle. Anyway, it's supposed to be for eyebrows. I don't use it on my eyebrows. I use it to defuzz the face. I think they are really good and would repurchase. I don't need to because when I purchased those, I bought a box, a big, huge box of them. And I still have probably a 
at least a dozen of them left still. So, okay, that's, oh, this was a sad day in Janie's beauty room. This is the end of my man Manu Factory Rose Hip Oil Mist, which is a ro Rose Hip Essence balance Balancing Mist. Oh my gosh, I loved, loved this. And I have another, um, rose mist that I'm using right now, but as soon as it's gone, then I'm going to order another bottle of that because I really, really, really did like that. I have some sample packs from Urban Decay. Um, this is the eyeshadow, eyeshadow Primer Potion. It was just the variety of the different ones that they carry. I think the um, original, in my opinion, is the best, but if you have a lot of um, discolorations on your eyelids you might want to try the Eden but I did finish up those. have a brush head from my Clarisonic that is done and I forget which one this is but the one that I had on my my brush before this was the um, oh what one is it called I can't remember but it's the one with the really long bristles and it's very 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 soft I think it's like the cashmere luxe or something like that after using that, this thing was hard as a rock, and I would not use this. I think this one might have been for acne, maybe. It came in like a variety pack. I'm not for sure, but anyway, I don't like that one. It was just too rough on my skin, so I was glad when the three months was up so that I could get rid of that one. I have some bath stuff. This is a Gardenia Honeysuckle Bath Fizzy. I found this at an antique store, a resale place. Um, I bought a whole bunch of them, but if I was to do it again, I wouldn't purchase them. When I was at the store where they were at the booth, they all smelled really, really good. So when I got them home and kind of stored them and then brought them out to use like a month later, it seemed like they had all kind of lost their scent and they weren't as strong anyway. So, but I didn't pay very much for them. I think they were like 75 cents a bag. There is a website. They do have a website, I think. No. An email I guess anyway doesn't matter because I'm not gonna recommend them to you okay I have a couple of perfumes from um, Louis Vuitton and one of them was the rose something anyway this one was okay it was a rose scent but it wasn't as powerful of a rose that I that I prefer it was okay but this one I really did like, and it is the uh, Apogee, A-P-O-G-E-E, -E, I think. I don't know, but I really liked the smell of that. I would never purchase them because they're just too doggone high for being just a perfume, but I really did like that one. Um, this one I did not care for. This is the Prada Candy Kiss. Um... I just, I just haven't been a fan of the Prada Candy perfumes at all anyway, so I, I thought maybe with this one being a lighter version of it, I would like it, but I didn't care for it. It was a little sample that was sent, so anyway. And then I have some little Chanel samples. One was the Eau Tendra, and the other one was the Eau Fresh. Um... I really like Chanel, but I just don't really care for their perfumes, and I really wanted to like these so bad, so that, especially this pink one, so that I could get a Chanel perfume, but I just didn't like them, so just not for me. Then this guy, now this I really did like. This was from Tom Ford, and it's the Soleil Blanc, um, his summer perfume. Oh, this smells so good. It smelled really good. It's just like the Bobbi Brown Beach, but a little bit more concentrated and a little bit more longer lasting. So, mm, it smelled good. Yeah. But anyway, I did enjoy that sample that I had. We're almost done. I have a moisturizer from the Amore Pacific line. It was okay. It was the... Um, well, I can't read it, but anyway, it just wasn't moisturizing enough for me. So I, I would never spend the money because this line is, is expensive. And I just wouldn't spend the money to get that. It just wasn't moisturizing enough for me. Then I have a couple of lipsticks from Rimmel, um, the liquid lips, lipsticks, the um, Evoc... Oh, what is this called? I don't remember. But anyway, I am going to get rid of these. I've had them for a very long time, and they are 
starting. Oh, they, they have a bad smell to them now. Yeah, so we're getting rid of those. And then I have also my um, serum foundation from The Ordinary. I have the 1.2 N and the 1.2 P. I've already done a review on these, and those are... I mix these two and put them into another container, so I'm getting rid of those. So that is it for my empties for the month of um, July. I hope that you have enjoyed, and we will talk to you soon.